Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you can have a day without rain and a little bit of sun. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I got a brand new phone, and yeah, I'm I I really dread getting used to a new phone. <laughs> But I'm trying this and seeing how it works, and hopefully it's it's good. So uh, we will start our day out with the armor of God. And then we will move into a scripture and a prayer. So let's get started. And this is Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 that I'm going to read. Okay. Finally, be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God, so that when you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, for the, our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and, <clears throat> and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day comes, or so when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted for readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up your shield with a shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take, <clears throat> take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. So there is our armor of God. And my Bible's falling apart. <laughs> I've had it for a really long time. Okay. <clears throat> now we will do our scripture for today. Okay. Ooh, goody, a Psalms. It is God whose arms, who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Psalms eighteen thirty two. God is the silent partner in all great enterprises. I love that. Abraham Lincoln said that. I like that. Okay. Now let's get our prayer. You can read this to yourself or out loud. Dear God, draw me close to your heart and renew my vision. You are my Lord of my life and the one I trust with all that I am and all that I, all I have yet to become. Amen. Let's see what the back says here. A good leader is often the person who can capture a vision, communicate it to others, and empower the group to achieve it. Awesome. Okay, so there is your scripture and your prayer for today. I hope this brings you encouragement and helps you out just a little bit to take on this day. And blessed are we to have it. I love you guys, but just remember, Jesus loves you and you're never alone. I will see you around. Bye.